I'm Darcy Smith. I am a career coach and recruiter. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok at Career Coach Darcy. Today, we are going to be talking about imposter syndrome, and I'm going to explain what it is and what we can do to make sure we never have it. So what is imposter syndrome? What is that feeling when you look at a job description? Or if you're in a job and you're feeling like, I don't know if I should be here. I've felt it, you've felt it. I'm sure everyone has either said the phrase imposter syndrome or said something of the sort, I feel like a fraud going after this position or trying to get that promotion. And that is imposter syndrome. Somehow we look and feel like we don't belong somewhere. And I want you to know, everyone feels it. Imposter syndrome is really prevalent in high achieving individuals, especially when you're defining success based around the construct of success being money or a job title or getting a promotion. What I want you to do is redefine what success means to you. Think about it. How am I going to compare myself to all of these other things that people are putting out there for me that they're talking about is successful? And now I'm thinking, well, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. I must be an imposter. I must not be able to apply to that promotion. If you redefine success the way that you think makes you happy, you're not gonna compare yourself anymore and you can feel so much more confident in who you are. So how are we going to overcome imposter syndrome? I'm gonna give you some actual tactics that I coach my clients on, on how to get to that success where you're defining it yourself. The first thing is, I want you to either pull out a notepad or on your phone app or on a Google doc. This is something you're gonna take with you forever. Keep this Google doc and always write down when something great happens to you that you feel like is success to you. A skill, a talent, something fun that happened in your life. Maybe it's like you put a calendar invite every Friday for 10 minutes, I'm just gonna write down something good that happened to me. And you're gonna have this running doc of all these skills and all these things that you do. And when you're feeling that I, I'm a fraud, I don't know if I should do this, I want you to go to that Google doc or that note app and remember all the amazing things that you do. The next tip, to overcome imposter syndrome is to actually step out of your comfort zone. And trust me, I know you've heard that before. Don't worry, we're gonna break it down. So next time you are looking at, maybe I wanna take a new class or maybe I wanna take a new skill. I want you to think about everyone else that's in that class or taking that skill or doing that thing is probably feeling the exact same way you are. So if you can find this community of people and talk to them, talk to them about, hey, hey, this is my first time taking this class, get some vulnerability there, make those connections, and that's gonna help you step out of that comfort zone and feel like, okay, everyone's in the same boat as me, this is normal, and you can do it. So the next time you go to apply to a job that you're a little bit nervous about, or you wanna ask your boss for a raise, or you are feeling this imposter syndrome, I want you to remember that everyone's in the same boat. We all feel that way. Go back to your Google doc that you've written all of these skills on, and remember you define success the way that you want to be happy, and you can do it.